Hello boys and girls, Three Ball Josh here again. And um, I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. I know I said I was going to be doing like the three questions at the end of my videos. Um, but this time I'm going to do the three questions at the beginning and it, because I want to teach you guys something at the end. Um, so let's just go ahead and start off. Um, let's see here. Fairy Goddess 1219. Is that? Yeah. Fairy Goddess 1219 asks, how tall are you? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stand up real quick. I'm using no camera tricks or anything like that. Like I said before, I don't really edit my video, so I am in fact this tall. Um, so yeah, what you see is, you know, truly is, excuse me, what you get. Um, let's see here, Auntie Beth asks another question. Uh, let's see here. Um, do I fart when I laugh, or do I laugh when I fart, and or do I even fart? Um, that's the same one I thought was kind of a silly question. Everybody farts. Everybody. You show me somebody who doesn't fart. I show you someone who's about to spontaneously combust. Um, as far as laughing goes, <clears throat> absolutely. I'm a typical guy when it comes to flatulence. Uh, and it's not the fact that I fart so much as how I do it because I can be pretty creative about it. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll do the whole, you know, I don't do the whole, oh, did somebody step on a duck, but, you know, I'll, well, sounds like somebody, some asshole talking shit behind my back. That usually gets a pretty good laugh. Or sometimes I'll stand up and I'll get in, you know, biker stance like I'm on a motorcycle and then I go to kickstart the bike and when I do that, you know, you're you know, type thing. I like to be creative, and uh, so that's what I usually laugh about. Um, Kelly Garcia too asks one question in two parts. Do you have three balls? If you do, may we see them? To answer the second part right off the bat, no. No, you may not. This is YouTube, and that's inappropriate. Shame on you. Um, I actually was thinking of trying to, you know, doing a gag where I had like my three ball and then see if I could find like a baseball and tennis ball or something like that. And, you know, hold up and say, see? You know, type thing. But, um, no, I'd, I'd, you'd think living with a black guy, I'd, you know, at least be able to find a basketball, but no, there's nothing. That's right, Carlos, I said it. Um, as far as the whole three ball thing goes, I have a, I usually, I usually come back with, you know, uh, that's the rumor, and I sometimes have this story of, like, when I was in the Army, I used to shave my head. Everybody called me cue ball, and then one day I got a really bad sunburn and turned bright red like a three ball, and that's how I got the name. But, uh, no, the uh, nickname, or the name three ball Josh does come from the rumor of having three testicles. Um, I will say this. Uh, I was, I... When I used to live in Kentucky, Southern Kentucky, right on the Tennessee-Kentucky border, and a buddy of mine was a radio DJ for a station in Clarksville, Tennessee, and he was broadcasting live at a uh, concert, which I was attending, and he said, hey, dude, we're about to go on air. We're going to have this girl here check you out, and we're going to verify on air whether or not you have three balls. So I either have, and once she checked me out, she counted three. Um, so I either do have three testicles or I'm just I'm actually clever enough to write on the spot and make somebody think I do so uh, I'm not going to confirm or deny it I'm just going to let you you know think what you will and that's the last time I'm answering this question about my testicles um so yes let's get on to uh learning stuff because learning is fun right so I'm going to teach you guys I have a few hobbies um I do a lot of magic tricks and stuff like that sometimes like I mainly close up stuff card magic coin magic but that's not what this is about um, so I try to get into the artistic stuff I can't play music I suck I don't draw too well uh, my paintings I, I don't paint um, I tried drawing stick people and they suck but one thing I did get into is uh, the Japanese art of origami um, which if you don't know it means folding paper so if you didn't know that go back to school learn some stuff and then come back and we'll talk um, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do something actually all you need 
It's just a simple piece of paper. It doesn't matter what size, you know. I'm just using a regular printer paper because my printer is right here and it's within grasp. So, I mean, if you want to make it bigger, get a bigger piece of paper. You want to make it smaller, get a gum wrapper or something like that. It's And I'm going to show you some basic, uh, a basic little origami figure, I guess is what they're called. So you want to get your paper, okay, and you want to fold it in half, like so, okay. Just fold it down there and get a crease. And the beautiful thing about about you know origami is this you know this stuff that this that I'm teaching you is something you can use anytime. You can make uh, you know Valentine's Day gifts for your loved one, uh, something for Mother's Day. If you celebrate Christmas, these make great stocking stuffers. Okay, so you're going to fold it down like that so you get a sharp crease, okay? Then you're going to fold it one more time and half again, but this time you're going to do it long ways, the opposite direction, perpendicular, if you will. Big words, right? They're fun. Okay, so you just do that. And again, you want to get a sharp crease, like so. All right. So now you've got this sort of crisp, you know, this cross fold thing going on. Okay, and then you want to grab... You kind of want to like put your finger right in the uh, right in the middle there, and then kind of push down so that you can grab it like so with your hand. So you make almost like this cool little missile thing, or you know, or star or whatever, you know. Okay, and then you want to fold the sides, all right, and all right, then you're going to get four little sides like that, and you want to fold them down. They're not going to look even, so don't get upset if they don't look even. They're not going to because this paper isn't square, you know. So you want to do that, and then you want to do it again the opposite direction, okay? Like so. And this is, I mean, it's a lot of fun. I do this a lot at home. It's very therapeutic, you know. So now you have sort of this, you know, this type of pattern going on there. And then once you got that, you're going to want to kind of... Uh, Fold it like that again, and then you're going to fold it in half so the line goes across from, you know, just like that right there, okay? And then you're going to fold it again and again and one more time, one more time, and like that. And then you want to kind of press down on it, get it going really well. And what you've just made is an origami boulder, all right? Wasn't that fun, kids? All right, so uh, I hope you I hope you enjoyed it, it you know. Practice at home and everything like that. And if I wasn't three ball Josh, I'd wish I was.